Welcome to Subramani. A few days ago, somebody asked me a question. Uh, you are making investing look so simple. Uh, do you think everybody can retire a millionaire? Well, let me uh, let me answer this question. I think what he meant was, uh, can everybody earn uh, ten lakhs? And I don't think he meant uh, 10 lakhs because I think 10 lakhs today is something which many uh, many people under the age of 30 would have. So I don't know whether he meant 10 lakhs or he just thought it was a very big number. So he was throwing it at me. So let us look at whether everybody could have earned uh, created one crore, maybe even 40 years ago, right? Somebody who started investing say 40 years ago, could he have created one crore? Right, one crore would be a big amount for somebody. Forty years ago, he wouldn't have thought of it as a small amount. He would have thought of it as a big amount. So let me answer that question now. You could have easily created a corpus of one crore, assuming you had invested approximately fifty thousand rupees a year uh, in the index. Uh, you would have created two crores. So how much did you actually need? Yes, if you had invested fifty thousand a year. Over the last say 37 years, I'm assuming a person starts earning at the age of uh, starts investing at the age of 23 and retires at 60. So, which means uh, you're talking of 37 years, 50,000 rupees would have needed a, a very small return of about what 8 percent. Let me just check. Yeah, 50,000 at 8 percent would have returned one crore today. All you needed was uninterrupted. Uh, growth of 8% including dividends and to think that the sensex with dividends would have given you 16% and the sensex was already available 37 years ago. So sensex was available what about 41 years ago. So this I am talking of 1981-82 somebody started investing he started putting away about 4000 rupees per month slightly above 4000 50000 a year. Even if he had done that, he would have uh, he would have had one crore today. Absolutely no doubt about that. Okay, you did not have that much money. Very fine, but you found the uh, back edition of Subra and Subra, my book of uh, retire rich invest rupees forty a day. This book, you found this book uh, with the nineteen seventy nine or nineteen seventy nine nineteen eighty edition. And you invested about 40 rupees a day, that would have been about 14,400 rupees a month, uh, a year. 14,400 rupees a year, which was not unthinkable at that time. It was possible to invest that kind of money. Uh, not too many people, at least the qualified chartered accountants, etc., could have easily found that money. No, if you were a clerk, no, maybe 19, uh, maybe 1982-83 were earning less than that. But for a CA who was staying with his parents and earning approximately 3000 rupees, which would have been the pay in 82-83, if I am not very wrong, would have been able to invest about 40 rupees a day. That is about 14,000 rupees a year, 14,400 rupees a year. But you jacked it up by 10% every year, as I say, and then that would have led to uh, 1 crore with just 6% growth. Now. This is what you could have achieved with just a 6% growth and 6% was very easily available. PPF alone would have given you more than this and uh, hey, here is your 1 crore in a completely safe environment. Inflation was pretty high during the early times of 1980s and even 90s and therefore you could have easily got this return even from fixed income instruments. Now let us, uh, let me just, uh, M. M. Raman was this man's name who had asked me this question. I don't remember whether he asked it on my blog or whether he asked it on the YouTube channel. And uh, let us look at what would have happened if you had put 50,000 rupees a year in the index and it had got, uh, you had got 15% return. If you had got 15% return, which is again not impossible because the Sensex gave that kind of a return, all it needed was having an index fund that time with very low tracking error. Uh, I wish Mr. Vanguard was here in 1979 in India and people had listened to him. And uh, well, at 15%, you would have been an American millionaire. You would have had seven and a half crores. Let me repeat, seven and a half crores is what you would have had 
if you had not interrupted 37 years of compounding. So it's very important to understand that in compounding, you should start early, invest regularly and very, very important, which most people forget to tell you, do not interrupt the compounding. Do not for any reason try to take something out and all that. That interruption in the compounding would not have created seven and a half crores. Now, even if you had said, okay, I don't have, uh, I didn't have 4,000 rupees a month, fair enough, but I had 1,500 rupees a month, 18,000 rupees a year. You had 18,000 rupees, which you again upped it by 10% every year. And uh, well, at 16%, you would have had your seven and a half crores. So the question, Mr. Raman is, uh, not only would you have had an Indian millionaire, which makes no sense, 10 lakhs is something which, uh, I think uh, it's not an aspirational figure. One crore being an aspirational figure, of course it was. I'm talking of 37 years earlier, people putting in uh, 5, 4,000 a month or even 1,400 a month, uh, about uh, 1,200, 1,300 a month, about 14,000 a year. Growing it at 16%, which was the index return. I mean, I'm not talking of anything else. Index return, dividend reinvested would have easily created a 1 million US dollars, right? Today's US dollars. I'm not talking of 40 years back. Today's US dollar, seven and a half crores is what it would have created. So it's very important to realize that when you throw numbers, when you ask questions, uh, do a little bit of homework because compounding over 30, 40 years. Now, if the same person had continued, let us assume this was your father and uh, today he has seven and a half crores. Maybe for his own requirements, he takes away one and a half crores out of this. Can you imagine how much this figure would be 40 years later when uh, his son or when your son is looking at it and how much it would be? That is, that is what is the power of compounding. This is how you create heirlooms, right? Now, well, uh, did this person mean that uh, uh, he didn't really mean whether you can be a millionaire? What he meant was, would you have enough money for your retirement? In both these scenarios, there is enough money for retirement. I mean, uh, I'm talking of both these scenarios of seven and a half crores. It is much more than what he requires for retirement because if he's retiring today, assuming his expenses are about uh, 10 lakhs a year, which I'm being liberal, uh, he needs only about three crores, right? 30 times. So he already has uh, 60 times that. So he does not he actually has uh, 75 times that uh, his requirement. So he is absolutely comfortably off uh, with his, uh, for his retirement requirements, right? So it's just the power of compounding. You could have created your millions. You could have created your crores. And uh, the question is, would you have financial independence? There is absolutely no doubt that uh, even people with, uh, I mean, I have met clerks with a net worth of five, six crores simply created by because, because they were working in companies which were near the stock exchange. They heard that Supreme Industries is a good company, so they bought it in 1988, they're still holding. They heard that uh, Hindustan Unilever is a good company, pays good dividends, they bought it and it and it grew, right? Clerks, peons working in uh, uh, chartered accountant firms and lawyer firms because they just heard these words and they invested. Believe me, these are peons, uh, not peons, these are clerks. Clerks, perhaps today they would have also done an MBA and taken up a job, but they were clerks and they created this kind of uh, portfolio. I met a friend of mine whose father had created a four or five crore portfolio simply because he started investing in the 70s and just didn't sell. They lived a very frugal life. He would take a bus all his life and all that. But by the time he died, he had created a three and a half, four crore corpus, right? And uh, I mean, money is a relative thing. so. Even if you have hundred dollars in your uh, pocket, it doesn't mean you're not you don't have enough uh, value, right? You you would have a credit card, you would have net worth, and so having five six thousand rupees, seven thousand rupees doesn't really matter as long as you know your, how much is your net worth and how much you are creating. That's more important. Being independent financially means not depending on anybody for all your requirements. None of us will be so rich that we can just go for an evening walk and buy a, a missile or a spaceship, right? We're not interested. So if we can meet all our requirements with the money, then don't throw numbers like, will I be a millionaire and all that doesn't really matter whether you can be a millionaire, can't be a millionaire. But here is an answer to your question. Yes, you can be a millionaire, a dollar millionaire, 
37 years ago if it started putting away 18000 a year 1500 a month and kept it in the index reinvested the dividend you would be a millionaire thank you